if you're working with QuickBooks Online Plus, you can now copy an estimate to a purchase order. So first, let's go into the gear menu in the top right and account and settings so we can turn this feature on. So the first thing I'll do is I'll click on advanced and then I'll scroll down to where it says automation and then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that copy statements to invoices is on. Now this is to go from statements to invoices. I'm specifically going to talk about statements to purchase orders. I'm going to hit save then switch over to expenses and then I'm going to go to purchase orders and I'll make sure that obviously my purchase orders need to be on but the most important thing is this little tab here that says copy estimates to purchase orders that has to be on so I'm going to go ahead and click on save and hit done now another really important piece is you have to make sure that your items and your estimates are configured to be, be used in a purchase scenario let me show you what I mean by that let me go into the gear menu and go to products and services I'm going to go ahead and create a new item called as a service. I'm going to call it hourly. Okay. And then I'll make this $80 an hour, whatever. But I'm not going to select I purchased this product from a vendor. I'm not going to select that to show you what the problem with that is. So I'm going to go ahead and now create the estimate. And then I'll pick that item that I just created, which by the way, we did not uh, tell it that this item can be used in a purchase situation. I said we're going to see an error message in a second. I'm going to go ahead and click save. And then once it's saved, you're going to see this little button here that says copy to purchase order. So I can actually click on that button, copy to purchase order. But then it'll give me a warning saying, hey, some of these items may not carry over because the item itself you did not mark it as an item that's used in a purchase scenario. So when I hit OK, notice that my purchase order gets created, but no items are passed through. So let me go ahead and close that and make sure that I go into my products and services tab here. And I'm going to pick that my item. I'll edit it. And I'm going to scroll down and make sure I mark that. I purchased that from a vendor. Really, really important piece. I have to make sure I mark that. So I'll go ahead and put $50 there. And then I'll hit save and close. And then I'm going to click on my recent transactions button to jump back into my estimate. And then I'll now be estimate to a purchase order. So I'll click on that button there that says copy to purchase order. You will notice I don't get that warning message anymore because my item is now compliant because my item now has a different price for a uh, purchase scenario. And then I go ahead and hit save and close. Make sure I pick a vendor, of course. And then I hit save and close. Now, a couple of other notes about estimates I think is worth uh, mentioning. Uh, when I go into my settings and I ask QuickBooks Online to be able to uh, convert estimates to purchase orders, uh, the default setting is the estimate has to be under accepted status. So notice that right now it's under pending. There's no button there that tells me convert to an invoice. But if I change this to accepted and after I hit save, you notice that now I have copy to invoice and a drop down that says copy to purchase order. So because this estimate is in accepted status and is saved, then now I can copy it to an invoice. If I change this back into a pending status and I click save, that copy to invoice is now going to go away and the only choice I have is copy to purchase order. Now, if you'd like to disable that so you don't have to go in there and select an estimate to change it from a pending to a accepted status, we click on the gear menu and we go into account and settings and then under advanced and automation notice that I have I can do copy pending and accepted estimates so it's a nice little option that you have there where regardless of the estimate status you can go ahead and convert it to a purchase order that it's automatic no matter what the status is but if you wanted to convert it to an invoice you actually have to tell it whether you want to restrict it to only accepted estimates